and today I'm going to show you how to build and install a sliding barn door. Here's what you're going to need. The first thing we're going to do is cut our lumber. For this project, we are going to use pine boards. You can use stronger wood such as oak, however it'll make it heavier. We are just looking for something light and easy. If you can find a lumber store near you, as opposed to a building supply store, you could save money by buying larger pieces. All said and done, we'll need four 1x6 boards at 39 inches and seven 1x6 boards at 84 inches. We want the door to be 84 by 39, which is just barely larger than the opening. Now that you have your boards cut to size, we are going to lay out our boards and glue our boards to go across to the longer boards. There is no right or wrong to exactly where these boards go, it all depends on what you want it to look like. Once the glue is dried, we are going to add one more layer of support by screwing in some small screws to the back of the long boards, helping to hold the smaller cross boards tight. The one thing you will need to make sure you do is have one of your cross boards flush with the top of the door. If you want a more clean, smooth look, you can go ahead and sand it, stain it, and hang it. But here at Rated Red, we like it a little more rustic looking, so I'm going to show you how to distress it. There are lots of ways to do this. However, one of our favorites is to use the claw side of the hammer and go after the board edges. Make sure you hit them at an angle so it will take chunks of your edges, instead of just holes where your claws went in. Now we're going to take a chain and sling it around a bit. Distressed, we are going to use a belt sander to smooth all the distressed edges out. You may need to use a low grit sandpaper at first, but make sure you finish it with at least 120. Now we are going to use our orbital sander and sand all the edges and flat areas. This will be our final sand, so make it look good. For our same, we are using Provincial, and instead of painting it on and leaving it, we are going to paint it on, then go back and wipe it dry with a cloth. Make sure to get the stain and all the distress marks. You don't want to see raw door behind the beautiful stain. Once you get it all stained and pretty, it's time to install the hardware for the sliding door. Now you might could do this on your own, however it would be much easier if you have a friend come help. Each door is a little different, so make sure you follow the instructions. You will drill a couple of holes in the top of the door to put your rollers on. Make sure you tighten these down good. Next, you are going to hang your track up on the wall. The holes should align with the studs in the wall. If not, you may find another way to support the track. Once you have the track hung, you can go ahead and put the door on. Many kits have guides and tracks for the floor. We, however, are not installing them for this particular door. sliding door? Show us a picture. Then let us know what we should build next in the comments below and head on over to Rated Red's YouTube channel and hit subscribe. From the workshop, I'm Amanda Mertz.